Okay, Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to flip the switch the roles. Could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation, okay? So let's see. Happy new moon in Libra today, Scorpio. The energy is very intense. <laughs> okay, I don't know if y'all can feel it, but I can. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio spirit. What is what is most important for them to know in here at this time, spirit? Chill vibes. Okay, so you chilling. <laughs> or somebody here is chilling. I feel like you're chilling because you know things are going in your favor. I feel like, you know, you're just minding your business here. Some of you guys could be trying to meditate and really... Uh, clear out your 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 head space you know anything that's trying to cloud your head or whatever I feel like you could be like really really trying to just vibe out you know but let's see what else but you're trying to remain cool calm and collected through whatever you're going through at the time at this time okay so we have a check yourself yeah see i just said that yeah so watch your emotions don't blow up have emotional maturity and control over your emotions at this time okay let's see some of you guys are trying to get a lot done you could be checking things off your list all right but let's see now you can relax or chill because you have the most important part of a situation is out the way or is going to be you know but let's see what else for sag okay i mean not sag i'm sorry scorpio you could be dealing with the sagittarius or have sagittarius in your chart what else for scorpio so it says once you back and then we have standing your ground, ready for battle, defending yourself. Okay. So bottom of the deck, we have a low IQ. So you could be dealing with somebody that's a bit closed-minded. You could be dealing with somebody that's a bit closed-minded here, uh, Scorpio, or somebody that's just like, I don't know, they, they're delusional. I always get this with low IQ. But um, behind that, we have putting them in their place. So this is somebody that you could be set, uh, setting boundaries with. This person probably wants you back, but I feel like you put your boundaries up or your guards are up. Okay, and you're not, you're not fucking with this person. Okay, so let's see what is going on here. For Scorpio Spirit, what is the Chill Vibes card? Yeah, Sagittarius energy, the temperance. Yeah. Mm hmm. What are the chill vibes for Scorpio? <clears throat> okay. Seven of Pentacles. So for some of you, you could be waiting on something or you're trying to figure out if you should keep investing in something or this is you evaluating. You're trying to evaluate something or you're trying to see if the fruits of your labor are going to pay off. I mean, the seeds that you planted are going to pay off here. You're trying to like, I feel like you're trying to keep calm and just stay focused or I'm hearing something about staying alert or something like that. But you're trying to like, I don't know, it's like something you're working through or doing right now. Let's see. It could be something internal, but let's see what's, what's chill vibes for Scorpio. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> see the emperor in reverse so you could be dealing with the aries or somebody that has aries in their chart so yeah i feel like you are trying to like stay focused and stay calm because there could be somebody around you that's like controlling or trying to abuse their position of authority with you for some of you this is your baby daddy your baby mama or somebody in your family it could be a father figure a uncle it could be a friend as well it could be anybody it could be a boss that's like distorted somebody is delusional this person this could be an absentee parent figure in your life your own father or your baby's daddy or your baby mama or your own mother for some of you or something like that but somebody's like trying to abuse their position of authority with you this person is very arrogant very egotistical you know yeah karma i feel like things are turning in your favor though whatever this is yeah you're going to get a really positive outcome because i feel like you're trying to close out a cycle with whoever this is you know i don't know what's the chill vibes with the emperor in reverse you know, this new moon energy is really, I feel like it's going to expose a lot of people. And it's in Libra, so it's like your relationships, exes, and shit like that. I feel like people are getting their karma for trying to, like, hurt others, you know. And whoever's on the good side of karma, they're going to get theirs too. But what is chill vibes with the emperor in reverse? It's definitely highlighting your relationships. 
Yeah, King of Swords. Yeah, you. so you could be, this could be somebody that's very cold towards you, very cruel. I don't feel like they're really authentic, so I don't even feel like that's you. I feel like you're having to really set boundaries with this person because they try to like overpower you in a sense. So you could be in your masculine energy if you're a woman. You could really, really be setting boundaries with this person because you just like, I don't know, they try to act like they're big and bad and macho and, you know, but it's like you have to bring out the big guns for this person because they don't get it. For some of you, you could be taking this person to court and you're getting a victory in a court situation. This could be a lawyer, a judge, a law enforcement, you know, the police or whoever. This person could be in the military or they could be uh, some type of chef or a surgeon or whatever. But I feel like if they had that kind of job, they wouldn't be doing this shit, bitch. You lose everything. Why would you want to lose that position? <laughs> like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I feel like you're really cutting somebody off. And I feel like you're really being really authentic and standing in your true self and not letting nobody like control your mind or try to fuck with you mentally or something like that. What is this chill vibe with the King of Swords and the Emperor in reverse? Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, something could be going on in court around a child because this person is like an absent father figure or they just like, they don't do enough. So I feel like spirit is trying to calm you down. Yeah, because things could be um, slow at this time. So you don't know what's ahead of you. You don't know if it's going to be good or bad, but you're going to overcome something with the chariot. You are, your intuition could be telling you something right now. You could be dealing with the cancer or Pisces or that's what's in your chart, but definitely um, your emotions are heavily invested in this. You're, you're, you could be really emotional right now. Things are probably moving really slow or, or stagnant maybe to you. But things are working out in your favor with the Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot. I feel like Spirit knows that your hard work is not going to go in vain. Mm -hmm. Like Spirit is not going to like just, you know, especially if you're on a good side of karma. You know what I'm saying? So um, this could be a new job offer coming in for you or something that's good news. Good news in like earthly matters. So your material matters, your money or a new car or start of a new business or planting a seed somewhere i don't know this is some type of strategy as well you could be strategizing something and i feel like it's going to work in your favor i feel like you have to keep quiet about this though because this person knows how to manipulate situations so you could be being quiet and trying to just chill right now but okay what's the emperor in reverse okay four of wands so for some of you, this could be somebody that's local, local, okay? I feel like this person, because people don't know how this person really is or who this person really is, they have a lot of supporters, a lot of fake-ass supporters, like people that are fake like them, <laughs> okay? Um, something about this person's stability, you could be married to this person or you could have lived with this person at once upon a time or something like that. Let's see something. What's this four of wands right here with this emperor in reverse? What's this four of wands with the emperor in reverse? What is this? This could be somebody that you have a family with. Yeah, you have a family with this person or something like that. What's this four of wands? Okay, yeah, knight of swords. So somebody could be coming to your home here. Like this person is mad i don't know i feel like yeah you're moving away and walking away and i feel like they're right at, on your heels like they're right after you they're chasing you this person could be coming towards you to your home or they could be like doing something here to try to get your attention this could be you taking action too to regain your stability because i feel like somebody's trying to throw you off what's this knight of swords with this four of wands who's this knight of swords Okay, yeah, five of cups. Somebody's like mad. They're mad because they don't have their family or something involved with the family here. They're like mad. They, I feel like this person wants to be with you. They want to marry you. They want to live with you or something like that. They want their family back and I feel like you don't want them. So they're a little bit mad. They're like distorted right now. They're delusional. They're crying and shit or they can't get over the past. They can't let you go. They can't stop thinking about you here. Or something like that. It's like they can't let the past go. They they hold on to a lot of uh, 
grudges this person holds grudges and shit and they try to act like they're okay but really they're deep down inside they resent you they're mad they're hateful it's like weird i keep getting that for you too yeah somebody that you have a family with ten of cups the tower yeah four of pentacles this person is trying to do everything to like get you to come back and the way that they're doing it, it's like you getting more turned off you were turned off anyway but now you even more turned off i feel like you don't fuck with this person they're, they they like do the bare minimum as a father as well or mother. It's like they don't do shit for real. What's the king of swords? Yeah, the hyphen in reverse. Yeah, somebody here did something that was against the law too. So they're going to be getting in trouble anyway. Or they're like, they're really irrational. I'm getting very un unethical. Okay, I feel like also with the hyphen, you could be dealing with the Taurus. Yeah, I feel like you um you feel a bit like you're going to be judged for making this decision. So you could have been a bit scared to like do this or something like that cuz this person is very manipulative. I feel like somebody is very manipulative. So it's you could have been scared to like do this cuz it's like, well damn, what could they hold against me or da 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 da, but you haven't done anything wrong, I feel. So I feel like you're stepping out of your comfort zone here cuz you know that somebody's like doing something that's like immoral. It doesn't make sense. This person is like delusional. They believe their own bullshit. They believe that it's right. This person could be a fake ass priest or they could be some type of fake spiritualist or something too, though. There could be an old, like a negative belief system too that somebody has or an old belief system that needs to be thrown away as well. What's the hyphen in reverse? This could be a divorce too. You could be divorcing somebody or just completely closing out a cycle with somebody that you was in a long-term commitment with what's the hyphen in reverse uh, yeah see what i'm saying the magician in reverse virgo gemini energy so yeah this person is a trickster they're a fake ass priest they do they could possibly do spell work or something like that i feel like you have your boundaries up you have your guards up but they fucking they're doing something to kind of like get you to weaken your boundaries or to stop you from like treating them a certain way. I feel like now you're finally standing up for yourself. So this person is like mad. They're like, I'm gonna get my family back one way or the other. Like somebody is like really tripping. They could be trying to get you to lose faith or fold on your beliefs. So that way they, they crazy, this person. What, um, what's the magician in reverse? Yeah, judgment is coming for that ass. Yeah, they're trying to throw off your decision making too. You could be dealing with a yeah, Scorpio could be you that's going through this or another Scorpio or Scorpio highlighted in your chart heavily. Fucking um or Aries Leo Sag, right with the judgment. But this is you making a decision. You making a final decision and you're going through a spiritual awakening. So what I feel like you're awakening to what this person is doing. They're really dark, this person. They're a trickster, they're a manipulator. I feel like they, they this, this is somebody from your past that wants your forgiveness, really. But the way that they're trying to go about it is very malicious. So they really don't mean you well. <laughs> Anyways, this person is like obsessive. They're delusional. And I feel like spiritual law is here. Like karma is definitely here. This person is going through judgment right now. Or they're going to be. Yeah, I feel like they're, they're broke. They, they just, they're miserable. Somebody here is miserable. They're trying to block off your psychic abilities. They don't want you to like see something clear or something like that. But you're definitely going through a spiritual awakening and you call judgment. I feel like you called this person out or you announced that you know that you know something. You know, like, what? Uh, what's this page of pentacles? That could be a tarot reader too or some type of divination as well. But let's see, what's the page of pentacles? There's some type of like... Yeah, five of swords. Yeah, three of wands, ten of swords. Hmm. They could be watching you through tarot. They probably do tarot readings themselves or they watch readings on like YouTube or something like that. What's, what's this five of swords? Okay, yeah, two of wands are planning. This person, or this is you. This is you planning an escape or trying to get away. Yeah, and go towards new. This person is like on your heels. They really just, 
this could be you strategizing as well. Your hard work is definitely going to pay off, though. If you're moving in silence, you're not letting this person know what you're doing. So they don't even know what's happening. I feel like they're building up more karma for themselves. I feel like if they known what you was doing, they would kind of like chill out and let it pass. Uh, but because they don't, you know, it's, I feel like that's the right decision because you're dealing with somebody that's a manipulator. There's a certain way that you have to move because this person, they blow up over anything. They get mad. They do spell work. They're weird. This person is very weird. So very manipulative, like a con artist. They are. And I feel like you're standing up for yourself. You have this plan where it's like, okay, you want to go there with me. I'm going to take it there with you. And I feel like it's not anything where you're putting your hands on this person or fighting back. I feel like you're quiet, but you're going to have the last laugh because you're going to be able to move forward. Some of you guys could be making a decision or planning. This is you planning or strategizing, planting a seed so that way you can go into this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, and the Empress, I feel like you're just trying to find peace. You don't even want to be bothered by this loser. Yeah, things are going to work out for you. The Chariot with the Death card. Something is definitely going to end. Yeah, this person is going to be mad. They're mad. They're mad that something ended or you're not really like giving them the time of day or something. This person is like a bully. They're trying to like insult you or make you feel a certain type of way. But I feel like you're going to have the last laugh. <laughs> you are because you're moving forward. But this person is definitely strategizing too. So while you're doing that, they're doing the same thing. But they're going to get it, though. And you're not. They're going to get the bad karma. You're not. Things are going to work out in your favor. So at the end of all this, <laughs> they're going to be looking stupid. So what is check yourself? What is this for Scorpio? Uh, yeah. So three of pentacles. Yeah, page of swords in reverse. I feel like somebody just doesn't want to cooperate. They just don't want to cooperate. There's like, this person is lazy. They're very like doing a poor job. Whatever the fuck they're working to do is they're doing a poor job. They're failing at it. They're miserable. This person is like evil eyeing you or sending you the evil eye. They're trying to like get in your energy. They could be speaking down upon you. They could be speaking with other people that are false as well. Yeah, to cause you confusion, Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. But this is bad news coming in. This is bad news. I feel like it's for them. It could be multiple people too, three people or more for some of you that they've worked with or try to conspire, a, like start up something with to bring you down in a sense or... If they're doing spell work, they could be working with somebody here that's false, obviously. But the page of swords in reverse is like uh, strategizing or planning that's gone, that's gone bad. Somebody can't even think straight. This person is a, is a player. They play a lot of mind games here. Yeah, they, they hate you. They don't like you. And I feel like you don't like them either. <laughs> you don't like them either. So who gives a fuck? But what is check yourself with the page of swords in reverse? Three of pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that just won't compromise. This is a lack of commitment. They can't. There, it's impossible to for to work with them because they don't like you. They don't they don't care for you at all, but they act like it though. To to cover up who they are as a person. So a narcissist, basically. Yeah, the world in reverse. Yeah, a burden. Something is definitely a burden and the goal has not been achieved. It's not going to be achieved. They're gonna be blocked. They're definitely going to be blocked here. Their little plan or something's going to fail miserably or it already has. But the world is definitely a burden or something here that's not um that's not been achieved. The goal has not been, uh, somebody didn't do something right. Somebody planned wrong or they got caught up in their little, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, this person. Mm, mm, mm. What's the page of swords in reverse? Yeah, the temperance. Yeah, so keep your cool. Check yourself. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. I did call out Sagittarius in the beginning, so definitely go watch that reading okay a message could be in there for you even if you don't have sagittarius anywhere in your chart or you're not dealing with one a message message could still be there okay you could have sagittarius houses in your chart what's sagittarius yeah the ninth house you could have nice house placements so yeah so stay balanced stay calm okay uh divine the divine is has your back the divine is intervening when it comes down to the situation Okay, keep healing, keep growing, keep being at peace. That's why you have chill vibes here because somebody is pissing you off. They're doing the most, trying to cause chaos and shit. So, so really, really keep your calm. Keep, I don't know, so, uh, Scorpio, I keep wanting to call you Sagittarius. Stay balanced. Don't let this person take you out of your character because the divine definitely has your back. This person thinks that they're onto something. They're not onto a damn thing. They're failing miserably. What's this three of pentacles in reverse? I feel like um, this person. Okay, page of wands. For 
for some of you this is about a child you could have a child with this person like they don't do shit this person is an absent father or, or mother they, they do the bare minimum they do just enough to keep you in their life it's really about you it's not about the child is what i'm getting yeah this person is very jealous there's people around this person that are jealous of you too they're like so mad this person is so mad so obsessed with you as well this is like an ongoing battle with this person i feel like you're fed up but you're close to success with closing a cycle out with this person. They're trying to keep it open. They're doing everything that they can to keep something open. But it's going to close out anyway. For some of you, um, what's this page of wands right here? Yeah, it's like they, yeah, the chariot. So you have good news. So I'm getting, this is good news coming in. For some of you, you're getting good news about your vehicle. Maybe it was fucked up or something like that. But you have a new one or you're getting a new one here. For some of you, it's a starter car, you know, something little until you get more money to get a new one, right? A, a better one that you want, but whatever, it's yours, doesn't matter. So three of pentacles in reverse is definitely, I feel like an ending of a contract here. Something that was a burden is finally closing. Your spirit guides and your angels are protecting you at this time from whatever this is. All your job is to do right now is to stay calm and chill out. Check your, check your emotions. Don't let this person knows how to pick with you. That's why they're still doing it. But now I feel like they're confused. Because you, you're closing your mouth. You don't have anything to say. So, yeah, page of swords here is don't feed into it. Don't don't say anything back to this person. Let them talk or let them, like, do whatever the fuck they're doing. Okay, because, yeah, page of swords is, you know, in reverse. It's like, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Go completely cold on this person. Don't entertain it it's in order to bring peace in your life. Yeah. Because they're trying to cause paranoia. They know what's coming for them too. They're trying to cause some type of paranoia in you. Or to cause you to feel anxious. They, they play a lot of fucking mind games, this person. They just... But I feel like with this Three of Pentacles in Reverse, there's a breaking of a contract and you're moving forward with the Page of Wands. Okay? Like, they just... You're, you're going to overcome whatever this is though. What's the world in Reverse? You have good news that's coming in that's going to push you forward and break this contract. And I feel like you're going to do no contact with this person. There's going to be something put in place, probably through the courts and by and through also the divine, in regards to them being able to say shit to you. I feel like they're not going to be able to say nothing to you. What's the world in reverse? Yeah, five of pentacles. Yeah, something is going to fail. They are going to be put out and left out in the fucking cold. Yeah, things are going to take off for you here. Somebody could be going to jail. Okay, I feel like things are going positively for you. And I feel like you're going to be definitely rewarded. You have good karma coming in because you're 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 showing yourself self-love. You really pull back your energy or whatever the fuck. For some of you, you could be pregnant or you're you're going to be pregnant. Congratulations. Maybe this Libra season, you're going to find out you're pregnant. Okay, the high priestess with the ace of cups, but I'm definitely getting things are moving forward for you. Okay, but definitely the five of pentacles is like somebody, all that, the investments that they made into trying to fuck you over or do whatever is going to fail. Yeah, this person is toxic as fuck. They just, they are so dark till it's pathetic. What's, what is once you back? This person really, nine of cups, page of cups, six of cups, <laughs> seven of swords, <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, the moon, like somebody's like really upset. This person, that you are this person's wish fulfillment. I feel like they missed the sex with you. The sex could be very healing. You know, toxic people like this, they need the healing sex or they need your healing energy. And because you're pulling back your energy, they don't have it anymore to um to leech on. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like they, they miss your sex. They miss you or something like that. You guys could share a child together. They they could be thinking that because y'all have a child together that that could possibly bring y'all back together. Like bitch, no, I don't want I don't want you, at all, at all. I feel like this person is very immature. They're very immature. For some of you, there's wish fulfillment coming in in regards to a past person. We gonna see though. I feel like yeah, with the six of cups though, they're, they're like they play the victim. They act like they haven't done anything to you or betrayed you. So they could be trying to apologize to you or trying to use a child to like, I don't know, to make you think that you would want them bad just because you have a child like bitch by. <laughs> Please. Let's see what this is. 
I feel like this person is very selfish too. Very greedy or I'm hearing something about cheap. They're very cheap. And I feel like you're very, you're not very high maintenance, but you like have a certain way. You're very clean. You're tidy. You find, you like quality things. You don't, I just feel like somebody's like not even, they're not even clean. Just what I'm getting, they're really sloppy or they're dirty in a sense. So it's like, you know, cleanliness is next to godliness. And maybe they hate that very well in the beginning, but it started to show throughout y'all's relationship or whatever the fuck. So what's the nine of cups? Okay, the justice. Yeah, things are turning out in your favor when it comes down to this good karma, a court situation, the laws, like three cards of the law here, the hierophant in reverse, judgment, and the, the justice. Yeah. This is probably a slow process. You guys can be seeing seven, seven, seven. Yeah, seven of swords, seven of wands, seven of pentacles. But I'm definitely getting things turning out in your favor, though. I feel like this person is going to be made to take care of this child or take care of their responsibilities or do whatever. Step up to the plate. Stop trying to chase after me, bitch, because I don't want you. You need to be chasing after your child. Your child needs you, not me. I don't need you for shit. At, at nothing. Nada. Zilch. <laughs> like somebody is mad because you don't fuck with them you don't need them and it's because they don't like your ass they have to sit back and do spell work i feel like anybody that's trying to do sit back and do spell work to force you against your will or to force you to do something that you really don't want to do is a goddamn loser they're pathetic and they're obsessive they're possessive they're a bully this person is like weird and because you know the truth the only thing you need to do is sit back and just let things pass and go through whatever it is that you need to go through. But definitely good things are coming to you. More balance is definitely coming in. I feel like this Libra season. I really do. But what's what's the Six of Cups? Yeah, the Empress. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, definitely a karmic relationship. The Empress with the Emperor in reverse. This person is like a false twin. They're a karmic. Definitely a karmic. That I feel like you're clearing out past life energy with. Or past life lessons or something like that. You could be dealing with the Taurus or Libra strong Taurus. So, yeah, you guys could be healing your inner child as well. For some of you, you're going to get custody of a child. I don't know if it's full custody or it's something about children. Some of you guys could be pregnant, too. I feel like you're going to be able to spend more time with your child as well. Yeah, you're going to overcome whatever this is, uh, Scorpio. You're going through a major change and Spirit is telling you to keep faith stay strong yeah this person they they're gonna try to manipulate the um the court system or something like that and it's not gonna turn out in their favor whoever your lawyer is or, or whatever they're a good lawyer or something but um what's the page of cups some of y'all could definitely be finding out you're pregnant though yeah six of swords happier times ahead peace harmony Okay, yeah, healing. Whatever was a burden is going away. Some of you guys could be traveling or, or moving with your child or relocating. Yeah, because somebody here is innocent. I feel like it's your child or something like that. Something about children. You're going to be able to take them out more or, or do something here. Spend more time with them or something. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of like getting a little bit emotional. So maybe that's what you've been wanting. This person is like trying to control shit when it comes down to you and your child. They want all the time with their child but it's like i feel like this child doesn't really give a fuck and it's so sad to say but because of this person's nasty ass ways and their energy that's fucked up this child really could give two fucks they love their fucking mother so whoever the damn or dad or whoever i feel like it's a mother here a mother figure that loves their children to death they would do anything for their fucking children and somebody else is so busy trying to fuck with you or get you back or be revengeful and petty and spiteful that they're not even really paying attention to their child they don't even see the little details about who their child really is what they like what they don't like this person can give two fucks they don't care <laughs> they don't care so For some of you, this is somebody that's coming back that wants to like take accountability for their actions or apologize. That could be somebody else's story that's different for somebody. But I'm strongly getting this is a situation where you're not seeing eye to eye with a goddamn loser. Somebody here that's pathetic. What's uh what is standing your ground ready for battle? Yeah, ace of cups, queen of wands, the high priestess in reverse. Yeah, we had the high friend in reverse, the high priestess in reverse. Definitely. Somebody here is dark. I just feel like somebody is dark. 
I feel like also a secret is coming out here. There's something coming out because you're standing your ground. You're in this Queen of Wands energy. You're standing up for yourself. You're fighting back. You're being brave. You're being courageous and pushing forward. And Spirit is going to bless you for that. Okay, you could be doubting yourself at this time. Don't. Don't doubt yourself. There's somebody around you that's like showing you unwanted attention. You don't want this attention with the High Priestess in reverse. I feel like somebody's being loud or um, this person's intuition is blocked. Their intuition is blocked, so they are delusional. They're like going off of illusions and shit. Shit that's made up or shit that they think is right. They're like having outbursts and shit. Yeah. And I feel like you're moving on. You're, you're pouring into yourself at this time. And your child. And whatever else you love around you. This person is mad because you're not showing them attention. So they're trying to get attention from you. And I feel like you're really standing your ground and looking in the opposite direction. This person is very dark spiritually. They are. They try to bring you down in this low vibe ass energy. What is this uh, high priestess in reverse? Okay, yeah. Two of Pentacles, they are so unbalanced. This person is off mentally. <laughs> I'm telling you, they are off. They're broke as well. They can't, they can't balance themselves. It's like they don't know how to balance their emotions. This person could have strong sexual urges to you here. They miss the sex. Somebody misses the sex with you or they want the sex with you, but you don't want it. Yeah, you're setting boundaries with this person. They're mad as fuck. They're mad. They are so mad. They're so imbalanced. Things are like definitely like they can't even get it together. What's the high priestess in reverse with the two of pentacles in reverse? They could be trying to block your intuition, but you you see what's going on. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. Everything is moving slow in their life. It's barely moving. Okay, this person is coming off as like they're very loyal or they're going to like da-da-da-da-da, but they're not. They're not doing anything. But for some of you, you could be feeling off kilter too, right? You could be like feeling, because this person is like in your energy with the fuck shit. So it's important that you stay balanced, okay? That you standing up for yourself is going to cause a bit of a rocky transition because of the simple fact that you've probably never done that with this person before. They're, they're seeing something new in you. So they're trying to go against it. They're going against the grain here. They don't, they don't like the fact that, they don't like this new you. They don't like that. They don't like the fact that you are finally standing up for yourself and having the confidence to do so. They don't like that. What's this Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, the Strength card. Yeah, you're going to overcome whatever this is. It's self-doubt. This could be self-doubt that you're having with the High Priestess in reverse. Okay, or this is this person. Like I said, I feel like that's that person like trying to cause an imbalance with your intuition and with your emotions. They could be trying to slow your finances down or cause an imbalance with your finances. They don't want you to work. But you're overcoming that because you push forward. You're very resilient. You're strong. You could have Leo in your chart. Okay, you're not a weak bitch, period. <laughs> you're not. And this person definitely is. It's showing clear. That's why they're mad. Because they're showing like they're, 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 that side of them is showing, bro. What's the Queen of Wands? <laughs> yeah, it's the Swords. Yeah, you see the truth. You're moving on to new love and new truths. Like you're not in an illusion or delusional or anything like that. You see past the illusions, the moon. It could be causing fear here, but I feel like spirit is telling you to keep going. I know it's hard because when you're dealing with a narcissist or a gaslighter, they're going to put you through hell. They are. I've been there, done that, never the fuck again. So, you know, you see the truth of a situation. I feel like you're going to gain a victory and success over whatever this is that's going on. You definitely are. You see the truth about somebody and now spirit wants you to be brave, be strong. That's that Leo energy. You have Leo in your chart. What's this Ace of Cups? You see clearly through the illusions, the hermit in reverse. So for a while, for some of you, you could have been like stuck in fear when it comes down to bringing new love in your life. I feel like new love could be coming in. You could be dating or something like that. For others of you, I feel like you could be dealing with a Virgo. For others of you, I feel like, um, damn, what was I getting ready to say? <laughs> I feel like you were stuck in fear when it comes down to uh, pouring into yourself and taking back control of yourself and your life, I feel like now you're in a different space in life where you know how to like remove yourself from this nasty ass energy. You know, I feel like somebody also has a lot of love for you like they do. And it's crazy 
but they're, they're acting out. They're not showing you. It's, it's more envious than anything. I, and, I, and that's so weird. Like, I can never explain it. Like, I even sound crazy trying to explain the fact that somebody loves you, but they don't. It's like, bitch, which one is it? Because I'm not seeing any love here. Somebody is just not, they need to heal. This person really needs to heal. They're fucked up mentally. Yeah, and they keep trying to, yeah, this, the tower with the four of pentacles, the seven of cups, they're trying to really cause illusions or control you in a sense. You know, they're trying to like get some type of victory or something like that. These illusions are falling down. Their mask is falling off. Whatever they're hiding or keeping to themselves is falling off here. The fact that they're broke, they're penny pinching, or they're really complacent in life is coming out too. It's going to be public. Everybody's going to see this person for who the fuck they are. The jealous, envious loser that they are. This person is like in competition with you. They want the attention that you get. They're very fucking weird. What's this hermit in reverse? The hermit in reverse, I feel like, um, let's see. Yeah, the Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, dysfunction. Dysfunction. You were scared. I feel like you were scared to walk away from this for a while. And now you're in the Ace of Cups energy. You have so much love for yourself. You're so much stronger than what you used to be. You know what I'm saying? You really came a long way. And somebody else is mad about that. Somebody sees that you're more strong than what you used to be. Them weak ass mind games can't work on you no more. I feel like you're very spiritual. You know what I'm saying? So you have that intuition. You could be psychic or something. But you are very powerful. They fuck with the wrong person. Now they're they losing their grip on shit. They're losing their grip on things. They can't like come back with a sorry ass apology or da 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 da. Like, bitch, you ain't changed not one bit. But definitely, um, Ten of Cups could talk about dysfunctional, a dysfunctional family. I feel like a family that's broken apart. I feel like this person is, is so sad. They don't, they don't want to accept that y'all are not a family anymore. They don't want to accept that. They want their family being put back together. Okay, this person could, could even have kids by somebody else. They don't want them, though. They want you. Obviously, for a very specific reason, you really feed this person's demons. Like, your light really, um, I don't know, it, it does something to this person. They're very dark. They need to do a lot of healing. Ten of Cups in reverse. 11.22 on the clock. You guys can be seeing those numbers. It could also talk about abuse. You're removing yourself from, like, some type of family abuse or something like that was going on. You're withdrawing your energy with the hermit in reverse. You're coming out of hermit mode. And you're finally letting the, this shit go. This dysfunctional family or whatever the fuck this is. You're finally letting it go. They don't like it at all. At all. I feel like you're living for yourself now and your children or whatever you have going on. This person likes to keep up appearances. They like to fucking chill. Some type of family secret could be coming out too. They could have been, this person could have been trying to cause infertility too in some way. I don't know if they were doing spell work on that, but I feel like some of you guys could be finding out you're pregnant. The high priestess in reverse does talk about infertility. But with the Empress Supper, I feel like in the Page of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Nine of Cups, for some of you, you could be pregnant or you're getting pregnant this season or something like that. But you're definitely separating from a dysfunction or some dysfunction, whatever this shit is that's going on in your family. Okay, you're removing yourself from a false person. This this is a false twin here. Definitely a false twin or um, some type of damn karmic. I don't know. They don't want you to have kids with nobody else. They don't want you to like be with nobody else. <laughs> they want you to stay stuck to this stupid ass. Bitch, never in a million years. Get a life. What else? What's going on here for Scorpio? Somebody's like, really? They tripping. <laughs> this energy is annoying. It says they playing poker and playing you. Yeah, this person is just like... <laughs> oh, Lord help them. What is... um? What else? Yeah, see, did I say blackmail in the beginning of this reading? Or was it Aquarius? I don't know. So we have um, makes careless mistakes that affects them affects them long term. So they, they're reckless. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. It says they apologize for their bad behavior, but they haven't changed. Yeah. So I feel like you thought that somebody would change. You probably gave this person a million and one chances and they haven't changed. They're still up to the same old shit. And now it's getting even worse because they're exposed. <laughs> So it's like the, the cat is out the bag. It says, have absolutely no idea what they are doing, but are willing to learn. 
So this is, could be you. I feel like you don't know what you're stepping into, but you are learning as you go. It could be scary because you don't know what to think. So I feel like Spirit is telling you to go with the flow, kind of like just chill out, breathe, you know, because I feel like anxious energy or something like that. But I really feel like you're letting go of an abuser, somebody that's very controlling, very cold-hearted, very mean, ruthless. They don't give a fuck. This person swears that they just know everything. They don't. They don't know shit, really. They're delusional. So it says flash. He's showing off, but nothing in the bank. Yeah, this person is like a... a I'm hearing like a clout chaser. They just fucking... They're a groupie or... I don't know. They, they pretend. They seek validation by like pretending to have more than what they actually have. Like... Because they want to be a part of something. Like a weirdo. It says addictions is causing strife and alienation in a relationship. So this person could have addictions. They could drink or smoke a lot. Or they could, I don't know. They could have some type of addictions other than those. Other than drugs. It could be something else. So we have unsatisfied and never. I mean unsatisfied and has everything but it's never enough. So somebody's like greedy. They're selfish. That's why they don't have anything now. They probably did have everything but it was never enough. And I feel like they was, that was you. They had you, but it was never enough. They wanted more or they just was always complaining or always trying to make something out of nothing, make a big fuss about nothing. And I feel like you just got fed up with that shit. You tired of this person's bullshit. It says someone, someone's hustling hard, getting that money. Yeah, that's you. That's your ass. It says buried secrets. Someone doesn't want anyone to dig up. Bitch, it's coming out with this high priestess in reverse. It's coming out that somebody's imbalanced. Everything in their life is moving slow. They portray themselves as somebody that's loyal, responsible, and all that, but they really ain't got shit going on. You know, it says counterintuitive. Everything they do has the exact opposite effect. Yeah, so whatever they do, they're delusional. They think that whatever they're hearing or seeing is their intuition. It's not, bitch. You are really about to see that it's not. <clears throat> this person is really like, they, they, they crazy. Yeah, it says, so we have blackmail. It says someone has secrets, has some secrets they want to use against you. So this person, what else for Scorpio? So it says playing games and it's not Monopoly. <laughs> it says cries wolf when things do not go their way. Yeah, this person plays victim a lot. They just, it says politics, extreme political views and forces them onto others. Hmm. They are lying through their teeth, hoping others believe it. Yeah, they, they're trying to, difficult to control and will do whatever, and will do whatever pleases them. Bottom of the deck is spiritual charlatan, charlatan or something like that. Preaches to get money from others. So taking notes and watching you on how you do it. So for some of you, you are a spiritualist. You are um, very spiritual. You do spiritual work. And this person is trying to be like you. They're spiritual, but I feel like they're dark. Yeah, I feel like they're very dark. So they, they're watching you. They're trying to see what you're doing. They're delusional. They think that they're a psychic or they're intuitive or something like that. They're not. This person is like, they, they're crazy. But anywho, um, this was your reading, Scorpio. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.